Hey guys, Envy of Darkheart here, and yes, I know I just got done doing the first video for Inner Monsters, and I just wanted to show you, I threw this one together real quick for you guys, and I think I did a pretty good job, considering I just, like, took the pieces that I had and, like, just, <laughs> like, threw a few onto this doll. I took the face from the add-on pack and uh, a couple of the emojis uh, and um, the boots from the pack that came with her, and the hair from the pack that came with her, the wings from the pack that she came in, uh, the purse and the glasses from the pack that came with her, the way, yeah, pretty much most of the stuff came with her. The only thing that didn't come with her was the face plate. Uh, and a couple of the emojis that are in her chest, so... Da 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 da! <laughs> She's cool. <laughs> She's got her orange boots. Oh, orangey pink boots. Phoenix swing looking boots. Um, her black and orange... Her skelet purse. Her... the dress that she came in course. The dragon phoenix wings. The orange and the pink and well orangey pink hair with the black streak in it. The pink glasses that came in the pack. The dragon face plate is from the add-on pack. And if I take and um, do this I can actually show you that I threw emojis in her chest. Um, but I actually can't because the wings are blocking. Let me take the wings off real quick. <laughs> I have to take the wings off to take the dress down. Which kind of sucks because that's the only way you can take the dress off is to take your wings back off and remove the dress. But here's the emoji. You have to take the chest off and put your emojis inside. And as you can see, I put the big pink part that comes inside the original pack. Oh, move your hand aside, sweetheart. They want to see your emojis. I put the skullette that comes with the love pack. And then, uh, what else did I put in you, honey? I put the rose that comes with the skull pack, with the original pack. But then this staff with the star, this wand, actually comes in the add-on pack. So that wand is in the add-on pack, guys. So now we're going to redress her because how embarrassing is it to be a girl naked in front of a bunch of people? Don't my dress back on for crying out loud. I'm naked on camera. Oh my gosh. I'm going it. I'm doing it. Oh my god. Such a diva, this one. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to ask you guys because this is my first time making a doll. So, um, my original idea was to give my dolls all their own specific personalities, all their own specific names, but, um, since my ideas normally don't come to me out of the blue, <laughs> and, um, most people don't like you borrowing their ideas, I'm actually going to ask you guys if you could suggest a couple names for this, um, and yes, I'm going to give you a description of her, okay, her, she's going to be a hybrid, just like Nathan and Serena and the others, uh, Serena and... them are. So yes, she's a hybrid monster. She is the she's daughter of a phoenix and a sorceress. So she's part witch. 
And yes, I know witches technically are humans with powers, but that's the funny part. Then she's part normal. Nobody knows what a witch is. So technically, her mother didn't know her father was a phoenix. So when she grew her phoenix wings, her mother didn't know her daughter wasn't a monster. Um, so she thought her daughter just grew, like, just, just had, like, some magical ability to be able to grow wings. No, that's not what happened. Her daughter is actually part phoenix, so it's like... She's part normie, part phoenix, so she's a hybrid. So, I want you guys to give, based on what I just said, that she is a phoenix and a witch. Try and give this girl a name. Based on the fact that she's phoenix and witch. And I don't want any Groom Hilda or Beelzebub or anything like that kind of name. I want actual name names. Like, I, I don't mind if you go, like, Isabella or something like that. But, like, try and stick with names, like, like that would match something in Monster High. Okay? You guys have to remember, I want her to seem like she belongs in the Monster in Monster High. Seem like she belongs as being a Monster High character. So, as this is being my first creation as a Monster High doll, give me a good name for a Monster High character, my first inner monster version. And I will give you, uh, okay, I'm going to give you a little more information just so you can know her freaky flaw. Her freaky flaw is going to be that she is no good at cooking. Even though she is a witch, her spells have a tendency to backfire on her. Okay? Remember that. Okay, her spells have a tendency to backfire. Okay? That's her freaky flaw. That spells backfire. Her freaky fashion is anything with a fiery flare to it. So basically, if it looks like it has a fire pattern on it, she might wear it. Okay? So based off of those things, her being a witch slash phoenix, her spells backfiring, and her freaky fashion being anything with a fiery pattern to it, give me a name for this lovely little lady. Thanks, guys. Love you. I hope to hear from you. Bye.